That's a really good. So I, that's a really good question. Is is chat is the fact that everyone's got Chat GPT annoying? I think it can be annoying. I think it's quite difficult to manage because um, organisations can have the fact that they say you cannot use LLMs, you can't use Chat GPT for anything internally for various security reasons, you know, and and. Inevitably, and almost without exception, there will be people in those organisations, especially people who are having to write marketing or reports or stuff that's actually just, just ChatGPT is very good for, that they will then go off and use that information and, and use it to generate that content and then bring it back in, which you know, I think causes some, some concern, security risks. Um, I think it's also driving an upwards pressure, which you don't normally get in an organisation. So typically in an organisation, very few people say, oh, wow, we really must have a CRM or an ERP, or very few people do that. Everybody is like, you know, this is my job, you're giving me my tools. I'm, and there are a few people who are pushing for improvements. Whereas, you know, ChatGPT elevates everybody's, you know, desire for better, um, better products. I think it also, um, however, means that people are thinking about their work differently and are driving towards a change that is inevitable, um, but, but are also pushing for changes in a quicker way than organisations would typically have. And that, I think, is quite, is quite interesting. But yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is also a true fact that when we talk to people, if we have a solution, we say to them, listen, I know you want AI, but actually you can do it without AI in this way that kind of almost inevitably drops off their interest in the project because even though this is a better solution, they want to use ChatGPT or, or equivalent in the, in the work.